I will never forget that day. That day, when I first came to the manor. All I wanted was to get away. I couldn't go back. Even if it was just a brief reprieve, I would at least get one night. One night away from the hell that was my life. Who the blazes are you? Oh, you must be the new maid I called for. Ha! You're like ten months late. Hmm? I wasn't expecting more visitors. Hello? Good evening, my fellow gentleman. You wouldn't have happened to see this here girl, would you? Uh... Yep. Are you sure? Does this look like a man who isn't sure? Let's go, boys. She can't have gone far. So, you're not the maid I called for, are you? Well, this certainly is a spicy pickle, isn't it? But it's just like my father said! Turn lemons into lemonade! Before he was raped to death by dolphins. Well, we should get you out of those clothes. We've got the guest room upstairs. You can rest here for the night. If you see a ghost, it's my deceased grandma. She died in that chair. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why not just move the chair out of the room? I'm scared, okay? I didn't understand why. But I was saved that night. Oh, and, uh, you're free to stay as long as you like. It would be the first night in a long time where I truly rested. It felt as if I was sleeping on a warm, fluffy cloud. Part of me was afraid of waking up only to realize it was all a fleeting dream. When the sun rose, I was astonished to find I was still there. He said I could stay as long as I like. A part of me wondered if he really meant those words. He didn't even know my name. Everything okay in here? Yeah! I'm sorry, Grandma! I didn't mean to move your chair! I couldn't quite summon the words to express my gratitude. Good morning.